Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. It's getting pretty cold here, so I've upgraded my jacket once again. Uh, and I got pretty cold last week. I had to uh, take a day and a half off and just uh, roll around in bed, uh, which was really lame. But now we are back on track, I think. So I was, uh, I was just watching Roger Clark streaming uh, before going to work or before getting in the car. And uh, he's, uh, he's, building, he's still building a web browser on Windows 2000. And it's still fascinating. Um, and I'll put a link in the description to his stuff. Um, and I, I just love seeing that environment, like the visual um, C++ 6, late 90s Microsoft development environment is so cool. And it really makes me feel, it makes me realize that one of the big things that's holding me back from, from wanting to jump over to Serenity as my main environment, because that's always the goal to do that. But I think one of the main things that's like keeping me away from that right now is the fact that I know that editing code in Serenity is going to be not nearly as awesome as editing with Q Creator, like I do now. Uh, and the two main things that I use my computer for are um, web browsing and programming, I would say. So I started by <laughs> started building a web browser, uh, but at some point I realized that I'm going to have to build a proper development environment for myself as well. Um, I, I guess I'm, I'm just a I just had that realization today, watching him use uh, Visual Studio, that is just so beautiful, and I think I think I could build something um, beautiful that I would want to use, that would be a decent enough replacement for Cute Creator for me. Um, obviously, it would it will take time to to get all the features that I want, but. Um, it's definitely something that, that Serenity is going to need um, for it to be awesome. And there, like, my, my brain is already starting this process of, of like, decomposing, um, of building, uh, decomposing building an IDE into smaller tasks. Um, and there are a lot of them. But at the same time, like, I, I don't feel any rush about these things because it's, it's really been nice about Serenity so far that, <clears throat> that I, I never quite feel rushed to do anything because I've accepted that this is going to take a very long time to get it to the place that I want it to be. Um, and um, although I've been making good progress so far, that doesn't mean that um, this kind of progress can continue forever because, you know, things slow down and they have a natural rhythm to them. And you can only add so many features before you start to resemble modern software development, which I, which I don't want to do. Um, so there's that. But uh, I, I, I've accepted that it's probably going to take the, <laughs> the rest of my life to, to build this thing. And I'm okay with that. It's because it's so much fun. So why would that be a problem, right? Um, but yeah. So I guess I'm, I'm just uh, reflecting on, on this realization that I would like to, to have a proper code editing environment. And Visual Studio 6 is just so dang beautiful. Um, and it's so snappy. And the icons look so crisp. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I'll see, see what I, where I get with that. But um, I think, obviously, the thing that's going to need a lot of work primarily is the text editor. Um, it's still very primitive. Uh, it still has silly bugs. Um, but it's quite clear how to make progress on it. You just, I just have to sit down and work on it. Um, but lately, I've been so swept up in the um, 
browser hacking stuff. Like I, I checked and it, uh, it looks like I've been posting browser hacking videos for the last three weeks, um, which has been super fun. And it's really fun to build a browser. And amusingly, it feels indistinguishable from building an operating system to me. It's like the exact same mentality. But um, I definitely don't want to forget about the rest of the system. And I don't feel like I am. It's just uh, there's a lot of bring up work to do in a web browser. Um, especially since there's no, not even any scripting yet. We're still, still doing layout stuff. But, you know, everything will come. There will be a time and a place. Um, but yeah, uh, there are, I guess, I guess I'm, I'm kind of happy and excited that I realized what the, what the next thing that I need to work on is. And maybe I need to get a bit better at weaving these things together and like um, context switching more often between the base system, the browser, and uh, and uh, you know, and development tools going forward. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, like, because the advice I would give to someone else is to do whatever is fun and whatever makes you the most productive, uh, in that order. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna have to give myself that same advice because part of me worries that like I just do browser hacking content every single day. And um, it sort of, I don't know, like if, if I get too much into one track, that, then I get this tunnel vision and um, I lose the, um, whatever it was I had when I was not tunnel vision. Tunnel vision is never good, I think. Uh, and part of me wants to um, I mean, part of me wants to produce interesting content for people, and I do worry that if I only do browser hacking videos over and over and over, then um, people lose interest. And I would like to—I would like to make interesting things, but at the same time, I also feel like uh, the way that they will, the videos that I make will be the most interesting is if I'm genuinely interested and happy about what I'm doing. So it's, it's hard to say what's the best approach. Um, and I know I have a tendency to treat everything like a job. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I treat my, my uh, hobby projects way more uh, like a job than I do my real jobs. Um, but I'm trying to be better about this and put fun first when it comes to pet projects like this. And I think I'm doing reasonably well with that, so far at least. Uh, but we'll see. What do you think? What would you do, right? Um, I would. I would be very interested to hear what what people think about this because I I do have a lot of uh, you know visitors who who hang out on the channel and uh, watch my hacking videos, and. I can't see who's watching, right? So I don't know if, if like all the people who enjoyed the OS hacking stuff, they've moved on, and now there's a new crowd who likes the browser hacking stuff. I don't know. I notice some of the same names, but um, it's hard to tell. <laughs> um, but at the same time, yeah, I don't want to go in, in into this direction of, of trying to be a people pleaser either, because that's not what this is about. Obviously, like I'm just trying to build something and uh, share the process. So I don't know. I don't know. These uh, they're just thoughts that I'm having in my head right now. And I figured it would be better to talk about them because if I don't talk about them, they'll just swirl around in my head and uh, confuse me. So <laughs> yeah. Anyways. It's been, it's been really fun hacking on the browser stuff so far. Um, and it's, it's, I don't know, like, I, when I started working on it, I, I had this idea that it would be straightforward and uh, a lot of work, but it would be straightforward and, and quite easy. 
and so far I still feel that way. So I think that assessment was not far off. Um, some parts are a little bit less work than I expected, and that's really funny to discover because through the years when I was working on WebKit every day, uh, I, I had these um, ideas about which parts of the code base were more complicated or more difficult to understand uh, or whatever. And um, text layout and uh, layout in general was very much almost like a black box to me back then. Uh, and I, I just dismissed it as like, oh, this is just this hairy, complicated thing, and I don't know how that works, and I'm just going to leave it alone and let the layout people deal with the layout code. And lately, that I've been implementing uh, layout code in libhtml in Serenity, <coughs> I'm seeing that it's really not that bad. <coughs> uh, and it's pretty logical, and the specs are amazing. Uh, you can you can really get so much information from the specs. CSS specs are so good. Although I still prefer the older specs to the new specs because the new specs are so like split and modular and stuff, and it's kind of annoying. It's hard to get an overview if you're not like living this stuff. Um, but the specs are amazing, and you can you can definitely build a browser from scratch based on the specs if you put the time into it. And I'm really glad that I started doing this and that I didn't like pull in some existing engine because I'm finally finally um, revealing what's inside the black box, I guess. Uh, and it's really good to look inside it because it makes me realize that it's just a box and it just has code in it. And it's code that I can understand, and uh, it's code that I can make myself too. And it's it really feels like growth when you open the box and realize that whatever's in the box, you can make that too. And then it stops being a box, and it just it's just code. It's it's really 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 nice when a black box becomes something else that you understand. It's one of the greatest feelings, I think. Anyways, I guess those were just some uh, unstructured reflections of today. So <laughs> I guess thank you for listening to that. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting. I guess I'm trying to find the tone for the next year of Serenity, because the first year is over. <coughs> And now the, the new year has begun, and is it going to be about the web, the browser, who knows? Or are we going to go in some other direction? Is this just a sidetrack to bootstrap a browser, and then that becomes secondary to something else? We'll see. But if you stick around, you will find out. So same goes for me. Anyways, uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me on the commute. You know, every every commute that I record these, uh, it's really nice to have the company, and um, I will see you next time. Bye.